right, so next up, this right here is a pawn shop find. And we got a PS3 here. It had $50 on it, $49.99. And I asked them if they could do any better on it. She took it up and asked what my offer was. And I offered $30 for it. And she took it. So we paid $30 for a PS3. It's already been tested and works. So not a bad pickup there. I've had people ask me if I have any PS3s to sell. And I didn't have any. So now I do. And uh, she asked anything else. So I was like, uh, what's the best you can do on that Wii? As you can see, she had $40 on it. And got her down to 30 on this. She came back with 35 and then I got her down to 30 um, Usually I like to pay around 20 for a Wii, but had the blue controller. It's already been tested, so I ain't got to test it out or anything. Um, you never know about these. These might have discs inside of them. There's plenty of times at this pawn shop in particular I bought systems from. And they work with me really well. And I plug it in and a disc will pop out. So never know what will pop out of these. I'd like to plug them up and find out here soon. Um, may get a video of that, may not. I'm running short on time. I got just so much going on right now. So got about 15, 20 videos to edit because I've had a pretty epic day and I'm going to break it up into several different videos. But anyways, uh, she asked if I wanted anything else. And I'd spotted the game earlier when I was looking through the games. But I figured it was $5.99 for it. So I was going to pass on it. But she said that all in the section was a dollar. And so I picked up NCAA Football 13, which is about a $15, $20 game. Um, so that was well worth a dollar. So all in was $66 in. And total profit, probably about $160. Um, that's just being conservative after fees, actually. So a really good stop at that pawn shop. All right, guys. So please excuse the mess here. I've got a ton of work I'm trying to get done today. Uh, listing a lot of stuff. Um, I stopped by the pawn shop earlier yesterday. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, go over what I got because it was a pretty big haul. Uh, I didn't get any video inside, unfortunately. I was in a hurry, and so were they because they were closing up. However, I bought quite a bit of stuff. Uh, ended up spending $600 in there yesterday. So obviously, I got some pretty expensive stuff here. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to make my money back. If not, I'm thinking I should be able to almost double my money on this slot. So uh, let's just get through it because there's quite a bit to it. And... I'll be a 10 minute video just uh, going through what all I bought. So, let's start out with uh, this right here is uh, Stranger Things 3 the game original soundtrack. It comes in a cool little NES cartridge. Um, if I can get it open, there we go. It's got uh, the soundtrack inside, and it also comes with the game Stranger Things 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I couldn't actually find these two together because apparently this is two different products. So I'm going to try to sell them as one. Um, I can't remember exactly how much value he put on this, but uh, I listed it for $80. So um, maybe I should be able to get that because I've seen just the NES cart with the soundtrack on eBay. There's several listings or a couple listings. There's, there's not a lot of these, uh, but they were listing them for around 50 bucks plus shipping. So that and plus the game, I figured $25, $30 for the game. So I'll probably take best offer for it. If I can get at least $60 out of this, I'd be really happy, which I think I should be able to do. Um, but still, cool little collector's item there. Uh, next up is a Nintendo Switch game, uh, Cars 3, Driven to Win. It's worth about $15, at least that's what I listed it as. Um, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland for PS2. Um, he gave me just a bunch of loose disc games, so I'm trying to go through them and clean them. At least put them in a case. Uh, I got Splashdown for the PS2. Uh, this right here is another sought after Switch game. Uh, Layers of Fear Legacy. Um, it's complete. It's a collector's edition type thing. It has another, I think, a soundtrack type CD inside of it as well. Um, this right here is going for about 80 bucks on eBay. So that's what I listed it as. So hopefully that'll sell soon. Um, we got a bunch of playstation games here like loose disc some full but we got tetris plus uh you got driver uh hot shot tennis real fishing uh need for speed high stakes and need for speed 3 hot pursuit and a nascar game there uh midnight club for the playstation 2 and sudden impact for the ufc um there we go I'm getting sorry for the mess <laughs> got a Nintendo 3DS. I just tested it. It does work. I just now listed it for $85 on Macari and it's already got three likes within like 10 minutes. So I figured this would sell pretty fast at that price. 
Um, not including the charger with it because I don't have any extras and this didn't come with it. But still, it's pretty good. 85 bucks on that. Uh, he threw in some memory cards and some rumble packs. So these are worth about 10 bucks each. But the rumble packs about 10 bucks. That was smart. So I'll probably sell it for a little less. And another one. A uh, couple of memory cards for the PS2 he threw in. Um, Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's just a game only with this case. Um, a Game Boy Advance SP. I listed it for $60. No charger. Um, you got to charge these up before I sell them. But it should work. And then uh, got another Game Boy Advance. So right here's one of the clear ones. Listed that one for $40. Um, got Pokemon Fire Red version for... Uh, it was a Game Boy Advance. It's about a $40 game. So that's what we listed it as. Um, what else we have? Okay, we got a uh, Odd Worlds Abe's Exodus, about a $10 game for the PlayStation. A couple more loose disc games, Tekken Tag Tournament, about a $5 game. Another $5 game is Grand Theft Auto by City. Uh, some $3 games in there, Gears of War 3, uh, NBA. 2K15, Assassin's Creed, or no, that's a Hitman Absolution, about a $3 game, about a $5 game for Need for Speed, The Run, uh, PS3 game, Infamous 2, another $5 game, got Midnight Club 2, for the PlayStation 2, about a $5 game, another couple dollar game here is Get On The Mic, and Star Skin Hutch, off of the PS2, we had a N64 game, uh, Tonic Trouble, we got uh, Tecmo World Wrestling. We got that listed for five dollars. And then we got a, some pretty good PS2 games here that were complete. Uh, you got Rumble Roses for the PS2, of course. And yeah, fifteen dollars on that. Uh, we got Fifty Cent Bulletproof complete. Fifteen bucks on that. Got uh, Knockout King, Knockout Kings 2003 for the GameCube. Uh, not really worth a lot, but just trying to grow the GameCube collection it was. Like I said before in other videos, these are hard to find around here. So it's only like a $5 game. Um, we got Rugrats, The Royal Ransom. It's a game I haven't seen very much of. It's about a $10 game. And boom, there goes a mess. This is right here is a game you actually really want to look for on the PS2. Smack down, here comes the pain. It's like, yeah, I listed it for $35. And that's about the going rate on them. So yeah, if you see that one, pick that one up. And another one you want to pick up when you see out, uh, The Simpsons Hit and Run. That's complete. Uh, it's about a $30, $40 game. I think I sold the last copy for $40. I put $30 on that one just because the disc was pretty well scratched up. Um, so it should sell pretty fast at $30. Bucks. I might raise the price on it. Uh, but yeah, most of these right here were uh, throw-ins. And so nothing into a lot of those games. You just throw them in, uh, bundle them up, to get me out the door, I guess. Uh, but... We work together quite a bit on uh, pricing. Uh, next up, we got a GameCube, a silver console, this controller. Then we got another GameCube. We got a purple one and a black one over there. It's already wrapped up with controllers. Uh, two N64s with controllers. One there, one in this box here. I haven't wrapped up yet. Uh, two NES systems and a Sega Master System, which actually works. I just plugged it up. Anyways, that was a pickup from the pawn shop. Uh, like I said, I paid $600 for all of this. Um, there's some extra controllers in there and stuff I've kind of missed in the video before. Um, but yeah, uh, what, one, two, three GameCubes, two NES systems, uh, two N64 systems, a Sega Master System, which is about 100 bucks by itself. Um, all this stack of games with a lot of expensive games in there as well. Uh, some handheld systems. Oh, there's another SP2. It's a red and an orange one. I'm actually charging it right now. Um, but yeah, paid $600. i am thinking conservatively. Uh, conservatively, I should be able to make about $1,100 off of all of this uh, once it all sells. Um, I should be able to make the $600 back pretty quickly anyways. And then the rest is just, you know, extra. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.